All right, today we're doing a comparison between the industry standard Shore 58 and our new little endorsement that we got, that TW820 wireless microphone package. The wireless microphone, oh I love this. The wireless microphone is good for stage performance, wedding, conference, and other events. If you need any help, please feel free. Okay, so it is actually toner mic, so that's who actually sent it to us, sorry. All right, so now we're going to unbox the TW820. Right off the bat, looks like they have pretty decent packaging. I actually really like how this looks. Ooh. Two nice, very lengthy antennas, and they're very versatile in terms of position, which is nice. It only seems to do 180 degrees in left or right, or just straight up. Um, it's got two balanced XLR inputs on the back. I'm glad that they're balanced. That's really nice to have. The potentiometers in the front feel honestly really nice. These feel like really good potentiometers. Button feels a little cheap, but you know, it's all right. Let's take the foam piece out. Underneath here we have a instruction manual and a service card. They actually included quarter inch cable, that's kind of nice, even though I don't think these use quarter inch. Oh, it does have a mix input. Ooh, we got two little, two little mic socks. Let's unbox one of these microphones so we can take a look. Ooh, seems like nice aluminum CNC'd got a nice finish on it feels really rugged doesn't look like there's any defects in the mic mesh or anything like that same kind of quick unscrew just like the uh, fine fine technologies microphone this one takes two double A's though where the other one I believe took two triple A's if I remember correctly all right so here is the other microphone to my cradles also known as uh, drop what do they call them drop grommets or I don't know something we broke out the fine, fine technologies, Mike, because we, we just, we gotta see. We gotta see what the difference is. I mean, they're so close. They're not identical, but they are very close. Um, honestly, they almost weigh the same. I, I'd probably say this weighs a little bit more. Um, it seems like this display is a little bit more advanced than the fine, fine technologies microphone, but in terms of everything else, they're like seriously identical, besides my gross fingernails. Of course, we'll compare it between that and the uh, SM58. I always forget the name. All right, so now we have it all hooked up. I'm actually speaking through it through the QSC K10. And we're going to see just how it compares to the Shure. And I can already tell you, compared to the other microphone we used, the Fine Fine Technologies one, I can put this a lot closer to my mouth. Where the Fine Fine, I was kind of holding it out here, where the microphone's not really picking up much noise, which is really what you want. You don't. You don't want it to really pick your voice up until you're closer to the microphone um, just because of extra sounds on stage and you know just background environment sounds you just don't want it going through the microphone because then everyone else hears it um, but anyways moving forward so this toner microphone actually sounds really good um, it gives you kind of more confidence to talk to the mic without worrying about it over gaining um, it's going through the receiver here the receiver has great reception we'll do a comparison between this and the shore sm 58. So now this is the Shure. So at the Shure, it's kind of the same. Uh, the sensitivity feels the same. The sound is very close. Um, of course, with the Shure microphone, it, Shure is kind of king when it comes to making microphones, um, at least for live audio. Um, but I mean, from my ear at least, and I'm sure from Chaz's ear, they sound very close. They, they sound almost identical. So the type of quality you're getting with this kind of microphone is great. I mean, definitely this one sounds a little bit deeper, so the frequency response is probably a little heightened on the lower end, where the shore one kind of has a little bit more mid-range, a little bit higher end, but still kind of has that low end punch to it, or this one not so much. This one just kind of rolls off probably above 3000 hertz if I had to guess, or like 1.5 kilohertz. Um, but overall, they're great. I mean, both of these microphones are fantastic and we'll definitely use both in the future. We plan on actually using these microphones for when we do DJing events. We're gonna shoot some videos and you guys are gonna see that in the near future. So uh, yeah, this overall has been a review 
of the Toner TW820. Thank you.